Hi guys, I'm Harley from Vertmill and today we're reviewing the Vupu Drag Nano Pod Kit. Let's go! So let's look at the specs. It's got a 750 milliamp hour battery. And that little tiny thing. It's got a one mil pod. In this little bitty titty pod kit. It's 36mm by 50mm by 7mm. It can use 1.5 to 3 ohm coils. It proudly, I mean very proudly, uses the gene chip. The gene chip includes a feature called Intelligent Cold Boot Mode. And that little beast basically means you fire it and it's continuous fire. There's no ramp up and ramp down, it's just BANG! There you go. It's got a little indicator. You see my colour? Down from 100%, 100% to 60% it's green, 60% to 20% it's blue, and then from red, it's pretty much dead. I don't think it got to red, it just got to red and went, yeah, we're dead. It comes in seven different resin colours. I, w I would list the colours, but I kind of can't pronounce or can be bothered to pronounce what the colours are called. But there's red, blue, and yellow and black and white and all that sort of stuff that you usually get. Fully charged, and I've read it's about an hour, but we were a bit over an hour for me, probably an hour and a half. Uh, I'm not fully charged. I said that, but I fell asleep, so... Let's say an hour to two hours. Now, because it's a pod kit, I haven't been using it constantly and frequently. Although I have been using it quite a bit, because I like to do my... tricks on it. But I can tell you that it has got a relatively good battery life. Now, as you'll see, I've got a chain, and that comes with the fan kit, fan pod system kit, and apparently half a million of the first kits were issued with a chain, and that's half a million for the TPD and half a million for the non-TPD kits. It's beautiful. Alright. More to spec talk, let's talk about my feelings of this beautiful little kit. So as you guys know, I use things I review for a week before reviewing it, just to make sure I've got a real feel of it. Uh, I wish I could do it for longer and I think I'd probably get a little bit accurate, more accurate after a week. But, I've used it for a week, and I'm not going to lie, when I first filled it, you probably saw it on the unboxing, I used Dinlady Lemon Tart. First thing to comment on, when you're trying to put any liquid into this little bitty little hole, it's quite hard to get in, it's quite frustrating, you've got very little space, so it was a bit of a pain in the backside. However, I managed it, and the liquid seems to last a nice little decent amount of time. I weren't getting all that much flavour out of it. I weren't loud, I weren't excited. It was just a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit, mm. However, I then changed the liquid to a Nick Salt. That's Blackjack by Salt with an O. I mean, that's what I was liking it. The flavour was coming through excellently, it was vaping beautifully, and that's what I've got in at the minute. Yes. It's a nice little kit. So my recommendation to you is if, you, if you're going to use it, use the salts. However, I then was told this morning that yeah, yeah you can use 7030 in it. That's awesome. Well, I kind of thought well, 1.8 ohm coil. My kind of logic dictates that you shouldn't really be using anything above 50-50 in it. Because it's not so bone. So I went and put Purist in it from 12 Monkeys, the Ice Age range. Yes. And obviously, that were an absolute nightmare to get into the coil. Um, and I'll point out because you, you can't see, I know you can't, but I think it's the same on all pod systems. It, it's hard to get the liquid past the coil to fill the entire pod. But with that, it, it was a nightmare to even get it into the pod, never mind to both sides of the coil. So then I vaped it for a few minutes, probably 20 odd puffs. And it, it was even worse when we didn't let it. So my recommendation to you, yet again, I'm going to say it again guys, use Nick Salts. If you're not a fan of Nick Salts, don't even bother buying one. 
Because I think without an ink source, it's absolutely useless. So let's look at the look of it. Somebody commented on the unboxing, it's a fingerprint magnet. And it is. I mean, if you want to look nice, you'll constantly be, you know, wiped and, <laughs> and getting polished out. But no, it, it really is a fingerprint magnet. I mean, you can have the cleanest hands in the country and still leave fingerprints. The chain. I've been doing a lot of swinging it around on my fingers. And, and it's lasted. I've expected it to smash a window or two, but it hadn't. Quite gutted about that. But the chain is quite durable. It hasn't started to lose silver or anything. I don't actually know what material it is. I presume it's silver. At least it looks silver. But I'm not an expert on jewellery, guys. And unlike the Watofo, which I reviewed last week, it is very photogenic. Um, it's very blingy. I don't think it's quite my look. But yeah, there you go, guys. The Drag Nano Pod System. I like it. To use with Nick Salts. I'm always a player with. Uh, I can't. My, my uh, scepter bends, so I can't really do stuff like Bane on a 74 because it really burns uh, my nose. However, I can with this. I really enjoyed using it. I do prefer the Nord still. The Smock Nord, I think, is better. Maybe that's because it's Subum. I don't know. However, this is now going down to giveaway. So we'll give it away next Tuesday, guys. Comment on the video below and make sure you subscribe to be in for a chance of winning. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any feedback on what I said about the Nano Kit, uh, feel free to come and argue with me. <laughs> and, and you've all got different opinions I appreciate that I'm just giving you mine don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram Twitter even though we don't use it feel free and Snapchat all at Vape Mill UK cheers guys wait don't go um, I need to announce last week's winner and it's Aaron Smith congrats dude I'm going to drop you a comment below message me on Facebook, Instagram Snapchat, just find a way to message me, message me, and we'll talk about shipping. For next week's competition, don't forget to read the terms and conditions below. Thanks, guys, stay cloudy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to be the annoying kid that won't go away, but next week I'm reviewing the Van de Vip revolver. Should be interesting because I'm keen on Van de Vip. I love uh, Kaelin, RTA. I've been requested to do the revolver RTA because it's got a lot of mixed reviews. So I'm going to unbox it now, upload a video tomorrow. Enjoy guys.